Good afternoon. This is now week 12 of Social Work 633, and the focus this week moves us from psychodynamic theoretical approaches to working with families to solution-focused brief therapy. So looking first at the introduction. Solution-focused brief therapy is future-focused, goal-directed, and focuses on solutions rather than on the problems that brought the client to seek help. Solution-focused techniques such as the miracle question that you hear a lot about and searching for exceptions can productively be added to any other theory that you use with your client. The learning objectives are to identify three different follow-up questions that could have been asked by the therapist at the end of the irreconcilable differences, a solution-focused approach to marital therapy video, and to describe two strengths of solution-focused therapy and helping the couple in that video, and two of the possible limitations of using SFT with a couple who presented these particular issues. The learning resources are as follows, chapters 11 and 13 in the text, and then a number of articles. If you can't read both, I would read the one from De Chazer, I hope I'm saying that right, from the Journal of Maritable and, uh, Marital and Family Therapy, since this person, along with the person who does the video, were essentially the founders of solution-focused therapy. There is the website that specifically talks about what is solution-focused therapy and it lists the two per, the two people who developed this theory along with other colleagues and again it's future focused goal directed and focuses on solutions rather than the problems the media for this week are the video i mentioned Irre irreconcilable differences a solution focused approach to maritable, maritable marital therapy The first assignment for this week, and I'll adjust the screen. Says that after watching the video of this session, please respond to all of the following questions in your initial post. As you could see, the miracle question provided only the starting point for a series of follow-up questions. What are some of the questions that the therapist asked and what were your reaction to those questions? What are the three different follow-up questions that you might have asked if you were the therapist? And what do you see as the two strengths and two possible limitations on this approach based on the couples who present similar issues? So this is due on Thursday. You will not see other students' responses until you have posted to the discussion. The next assignment is to help you in preparation for your final integrative paper. So you are to review different articles that were presented in week four to create your client family genogram. So this time you're looking at a client situation. Next, draw a genogram with at least three generations represented. Highlight any patterns that may show up across and among generations. If you do not have very much information about all three generations, please draw accurately the information that you do have. As with your family genogram, you must, you must draw it by hand and take a picture or scan it because you will need to upload it as part of your assignment. Step three, after, after you 
do upload that genogram you created. Write a short assessment of the family discussing your hypothesis about the causes of the problem, any relevant life cycle and social cultural issues, and family strengths. In addition, describe any issues that you encountered while creating this genogram. Did you find this process of creation easy, difficult, and what did you learn that surprised you? And how could this type of activity help a client? So respond to at least one of your classmates. This is also due by Thursday with your responses due between Friday and Sunday. So those are the assignments for this week. If you have any questions, please ask them as soon as possible. And I look forward to reading your assignments this week and have a wonderful next week. Thank you.